Hi, in this video we will look into one more example where the PID control kind of a structure is working for a nonlinear system and this further explain why Jugar with the help of PID controls are, are giving solutions. Alright, so let us understand this is uh, uh, this example of uh, controlling the hovering of an unmanned aerial vehicle uh, given and I will be using the term UAV uh, referring to the unmanned aerial vehicle in this video. So the, um, uh, the position of let us understand the system first and then design controller and that will help you to see how we uh, make sure that the system representation turns out to be in a simpler form uh, appropriate for the PID controls to apply. So the UAV position is given by uh, the three dimensional coordinates, Cartesian coordinates x, y and z with respect to the earth frame and the UAV orientations are given by xi theta phi in three dimensions again which is your pitch and roll. The angular velocity corresponding angular velocities are given by PQR. Now my hovering objective here, hovering means one has to stay at a particular uh, position, three dimensional position and angular position, posi uh, position and angular position um, at, at for some time till, till the hovering command is given. So control objective for the hovering now involves this particular z to, to remain at a particular set point uh, or the earth frame uh, the z represented in the earth frame given by a z point. In order to simplify get the simplified um, mathematical model uh, we will make some assumptions here. The assumption is that the body frame of the UAV is perfectly aligned with the global frame means when we are starting um, uh, starting the quadcopter's frame of reference which is sitting here is perfectly aligned with my earth frame or, or a global frame here and all the initial states of the UAV are considered to be 0. For example, we have already achieved this particular set point. Now the objective is to remain there, right? So my errors are all 0 and therefore initial state is uh, 0. Now UAV is controlled only by the virtue of the thrust given. Thrust means up and down thrust. This is what the simple uh, uh, command given and we would like to make sure that this set point is achieved or any change in the set point is being achieved here, alright, fine. So now if I look into the, uh, the dynamics of the system, it is, uh, it turns out that I can simplify by writing the, these, this particular equation where this RBE is the transformation from body frame to the earth frame because my thrust is being applied into the onto the body and you require a body frame to earth frame transformation. Now since we are only looking into the, the, um, the z parameter or, or the z variable to be controlled and it turns out that because we had considered the body frame alignment with the global frame, we can consider the dynamics associated with x and y, y accelerations are 0. Now this transformation is, is uh, very well known in the robotics community and uh, the C and S terms turns out to be just uh, uh, the uh, simple form of re representing cos and sin. Now these above equations represent the UAV multirotor guidance model of MATLAB, one can also refer for further understanding of these equation, this equation. My interest here is to get the dynamics for ZE which is which, we, which where we want to, um, to make sure that this ZE follows a particular set point. Now the dynamic equation turns out dynamics of the system is now given by MZE double dot equals ME mg minus f thrust. So now here I can write this particular equation and make sure that my dynamics turns out to be in this particular form. Now 
this particular dynamics is nonlinear. Why is this nonlinear? Because this particular G term term gives me the uh, bias here. We know that y is equal to mx plus c, where c is my offset is a nonlinear equation, though we say it's a it's an equation of a line. It doesn't pass through origin. As long as it doesn't pass through origin, we will not be able to apply the superposition and this uh, violates the LTI assumption here. So by you, you can see here that F thrust is the input to the system, Z is my output, M and G are parameters of the system. Now this mass M of the UAV scales the effect of this F thrust because uh, of understand, we, uh, we, we, can, we can see that this is dividing this, it is the multiplicative factor here. So this F thrust is scaling the F thrust, the input U, whereas G is a constant bias in the Z. Therefore, uh, this particular equation represents a nonlinear system. Now, how to make the dynamics linear? Because finally, I want to apply, my objective is a simplified control design with the help of PID. So I will have to consider some kind of uh, jugglery in order to uh, represent this particular form, nonlinear form to a linear form. So one way of doing it is by considering a virtual control V, which is given by F thrust by M minus G. And now my Z dynamics is linear because my Z double dot equals V. So what we are doing here is now we will try controlling the Z with the help of this virtual control. So my virtual control is applied to this system. Now this becomes my system equation. This, this, this particular transformation will also sit and at the same time inverse transformations will also sit in order to make sure my system represents like this. But at the same time, this particular system is a second order, second, uh, uh, second order integrator. All right, so uh, double integrator and design and the control of the double integrator can be very well handled with the help of derivative control. All right, so with the help of this particular uh, idea that my system is now a double integrator. Now double integrator needs to be designed with the help of the PD controller because any PI controller will add more lag to the system which will not be useful for us to design this controller. At the same time, I have a simple negative feedback control action should be just sufficient to, to satisfy this particular control objective of um, regulate this this becomes a regulation problem of making sure that this z uh, uh, z z variable uh, is following a set point here so we have already said a suitable control scheme is a pd controller all right so if we look at the step response of this double integrator we this is an open loop response which is a growing amplitude with respect to time. Now, if I, if I apply a step input, it's going to be a growing output. But whereas if I have a PD control, then the transfer function of the, the system with PD control turns out to be nothing but GH pi 1 plus GH, which is given by KP plus KDS because my controller is now the PD controller. And if I look into, looking into any such PD control, this is helping me to reach to this particular, giving me the step response, giving the step response and uh, the double integrator's response to a step input now with PD control turns out to be achieving a, uh, a set point, a, a settling time equal to the set point. Now interestingly what we did in this exercise, we would like to understand it in a wholesome manner. Um, what we did is we simplified the model and when in the process of this simplification, we got that this particular system model uh, behaves like a double integrator. 
Since it is a double integrator, we have no choice but to use PD control. And with the help of PD control, we are able to achieve the hovering mechanism. And this hovering met, uh, objective is achieved for a nonlinear system. But this simplified process gave me an opportunity to explore a simplified controller, which is nothing but a PD controller. Of course, we got some kind of an overshoot over here, but finally it got, uh, it got um, uh, reaching, it is, it is reaching to the settling time, settling set, uh, steady state value. At the same time, we have to understand now this transformation and where is it sitting, all right? So what we have is a plant, which is now, which is nothing but our UAV. The output of this plant uh, is my ZE, whereas the input to this plant is F thrust. We have seen this, correct? Now we are applying the control over the transform variable V. So we should have a transformation since this particular control is applied on a, um, on a transformation uh, on, on, on this particular virtual variable V, this is the transformation which is turning out a Z set point to a V set point now. Now what we had was the equations let, let me just simply copy these equations, uh, equation for, for us, which is V is equal to F thrust by M minus G. So we have this re relationship V is equal to F thrust by M minus G. So we can find out what is my V set point here and apply this particular controller. Okay. Now we are doing this particular V set point. This V to F transformation, of course, here is a PD block sitting here. And then there's a transformation which is converting V to F thrust. So, which means F thrust is the output. So I should need the inverse transformation given by M times V plus G. So this transformation is taking M and G values to convert V, error in V to the thrust value. At the same time, since we are applying the control over with the help of this particular uh, virtual variable V, what we have is we need the measurement of Z, ZE which needs to be pipelined to give the input to V. And this is possible when we say that, okay, here is V is equal to, we have V is equal to Z E double dot. So this particular transformation and this particular inverse transformation is needed in order to, uh, to convert the values from, in, uh, to, to make sure that there is a normalization happening anywhere, somewhere. And this also gives an idea that how to use some particular uh, nonlinear transformation, this, this turns out to be our nonlinear transformation or inverse transformation and this is my nonlinear transformation. Uh, in order to incorporate the, the PD controllers for the linear systems. And so this, uh, this uh, exercise has given an idea that simplification of the nonlinear First of all, we did simplification in terms of the multiple variable control to a single variable control. Multiple variables were x, y, z and angular rates, but we were interested in only hovering command to be given. So that is where we simplified first that okay, it is a single input, single output case. Now with the help of single input and single output, again this system is nonlinear. How do I do the linearization? How can I do it with the help of virtual way, virtual signal way or I can always consider an operating system to linearize the system. But in this case, it turns out finally the control is PD control, which is a very simple control methodology 
and this gives me this answer in a jugara way. Thank you.